Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you six tips that will help jumpstart your health and fitness journey. Now, I just want to say that starting your health and fitness journey, it's not always easy. Like, there's a lot of bumps, there's a lot of ups and downs along the way, so don't get discouraged throughout the process, but I'm hoping that these tips do help kind of jumpstart you, get you motivated, and kind of give you some ideas of how you can actually start. So, tip number one that you've probably heard a billion times is to set a goal. I know that sounds super lame, and I used to not want to be like a try hard and be like, oh, I'm gonna set this goal, but what I've realized is, is that successful people make goals so even though setting a goal can be daunting it's so important especially in your health and fitness journey to at least have a goal so you know what you're working toward and that so you can be headed in that direction now your goal can really be anything your goal could be to eat better your goal could be to cut out sugar go to sleep earlier wake up earlier walk to work or take the stairs every time you have a chance try to have one fruit and vegetable every single day honestly the list goes on and on but that goal that you're going to set is going to be personal to you so just make it something that you actually want and something that's attainable within this year or if you want to just have a goal for this month or next month or whatever it is regardless for your health and fitness journey overall you need to have a goal number two is to find a workout program now you could do this a bunch of different ways one you could just get yourself a personal trainer and pay some money and just say hey person hook it up man give me some workouts and let's freaking get it or you can just make up your own workout. Now, I kind of want to do a whole video separate to this because I could honestly talk about this forever, but the first thing you need to know is how many days a week you plan to work out. So once you have how many days a week that you're gonna work out, then according to whatever your goal is, that's what you're gonna fill in those three days. For example, if you're somebody who just kind of wants to tone up, what you're gonna do is say, okay, I have three days that I want to work out a week, so I'll do one lower body day, one upper body day, and then one full body session. And then you know those three days that you're going to the gym, or if you're working out at home, you know first day I'm doing lower body, second day I work out in the week is gonna be upper body, and then third time I work out during the week is gonna be a full body. I do have my full like workout routine and like my workout split up on my channel. I can link that. I never know which corner to point to. Let's get real. I'm new at this thing, you know? And so you can see what I personally do, how I've created my workout split. But again, that's something that I kind of want to put into another video because it's a little bit more lengthy. But you pretty much just want to create a routine. Pick the amount of days that you want to work out a week. Assign a muscle group to that day. Or you could do all push movements pull movements, upper body, lower body, full body, whatever it is, that's just kind of based off what your personal goals are at that time being. And if you're somebody who really wants to get serious, just get a personal trainer. They'll pretty much kick your butt. But I know a lot of us can't afford personal trainers. That's why I give out workouts, mainly on Instagram, a little bit on here so that I can actually provide you with workouts so you can go to the gym and know what you're doing, get familiar with the machines and just better your life. I love that. I mean, it's like I'm working out anyways. Why not prop up my phone and film it so you can have a video so you know what to do in the gym? Like, what? girl, I got you. I'm here. The third thing I would say is to, excuse me, hair. The third thing I would say is to make healthy habits. Now, <sighs> habits, girlfriend. Mm. Healthy habit. What exactly does that mean? I mean, there could be a billion different habits. I don't know. That's up to you. But some ideas are to make sure you're drinking a lot of water. That is a great healthy habit. Because you know what? You don't want to be dehydrated. Your pee pretty much should not be yellow. The clearer, the better. Water honestly helps your body function to its full potential when it is hydrated because your body's made up of a lot of water. So, you know, when you sweat it out, you gotta put it back in. Another healthy habit that you could integrate into your life is to get more sleep, okay? A lot of us struggle with going to bed at night, okay? Sometimes I just get anxious, you know? I'm just like, ah, I can't go to bed. I have so much to do and it's like, girlfriend, no, go to bed wake up earlier that is one of my new year's resolutions changed the game for me so instead of taking those unproductive hours at the end of the day i've moved them into the beginning of the day and let me tell you i've never been happier and i'm waking up at 5 a.m you think i'm crazy i am crazy but i'm digging it 
<laughs> a couple other healthy habits that I'm thinking of could be like setting a solid morning routine, setting a solid night routine, journaling, working out, making alternatives in your food. So maybe instead of having an endless supply of cereal where you can never stop eating cereal, you find a healthier snack that you love just as much, but it's better. Like maybe some yogurt, you know? Yogurt, granola, granola still cereal, you know what I mean? And some berries. Way better alternative than sugary cereal that just, you know, mm, I could talk about cereal for days. You guys, the, really the struggle is real. I can't buy it because I eat the whole box in a day. And I just posted about this on my Instagram and I was like, y'all, who's feeling me? Almost everybody felt me on that one. So bless up you guys. No chill with cereal and it's gonna be all right. Every little thing is gonna be all right. Ooh, ooh. The last kind of healthy habit I was thinking of is self-love. You know, I feel like some people hate the fact that self-love is being talked about so much and other people are like, yes self-love but like let's get real we do not love ourselves enough not the cocky arrogant side but the side where we actually like feel value in ourselves that's important and that should not be like oh self-love is so overrated it's not okay because guess what happy people are kind people and we like kind people right ain't nobody like angry dude in the parking lot. Ain't nobody like yelling man over there in the corner. Like, no, we don't like you. We like happy people, right? We, kindness and like, people are always making fun of people who are nice, you know what I'm saying? And I don't like that, that people are like, you're nice, they're gonna take advantage of you. Like, I don't get with that. I'm just saying, everybody likes kind people. Like when somebody's nice to you, you're like, dang, like I felt that in my soul. So, like, yes. So when we have our cup filled, and when we have self-love, we're able to be nicer to other people, not as judgmental. I mean, I could talk about this forever, but I gotta, I gotta click next one. Thank you, next. Number four is to feed yourself healthy food. <gasps> okay, let's get real. Nutrition is definitely the hardest part to the fitness journey. Am I right or am I right? Like, yeah, give me a workout routine. Yeah, I can get myself to the gym. I'll do a mediocre workout. Maybe I'll even boss and kill it. Like, you know, it just depends on the day. Working out is fine. But when I get home and I just want to eat cereal, ice cream, cookies, cheesecake, brownies, hot, warm brownies out the oven, banana bread, cake, the stuff that we wish we could eat and not gain weight with, you know? But it is so important, so, so, so important to feed yourself healthy food. Now, I'm not saying we can't have the bad stuff in moderation, like don't get me wrong. Uh, you guys see me, I don't eat the best all the time. Now, I try my best, but after the holidays, girlfriend, I, I don't know if it's just me, but I can't get it together. But when you are trying to eat healthy, you do want to make sure that you're having plenty of fruits, vegetables. Those are packed with micronutrients. They all, a lot of them also have good fiber, which is so important to have in your diet. And I think it's something that is not taken as seriously or talked about as much. But fiber really helps with your digestive system. And I know personally, sometimes I've got some digestion issues, especially because I've been eating a lot of pork recently. And I do not digest pork. I mean, like... So I really like to have chia seeds and I've been putting them in my oats every single morning and that has helped so much. I'm like, bless you, bless you chia seeds. They're good in fiber, they even have a little bit of protein and they're really high in omega-3. So chia seeds is a superfood, like boom. Put that in your smoothies, put that in your oats. Girl, I got you. Just make sure one meal out of your day is gonna be packed with nutrients. Make sure that you have a vegetable, a good protein source, a good healthy carb source, and even some healthy fats are super important for your diet. People think cutting out fat is gonna make you fat, like girlfriend, no. Eating in a caloric surplus will make you fat, but you need to have healthy fats in your diet, like avocado, girlfriend, if you like avocado, put avocado on your toast. You got healthy fats there. Salmon, omega-3s. Healthy fats. Number five I would say is to track progress. And I think this is the most important one. This is something that I didn't know was a thing. I think I'm very hard on myself sometimes, like we all are, honestly. And I can forget how much progress I have made. And if it weren't for progress photos, I would have no idea where I was at. 
Sometimes when I take pictures like this, I have no idea that I've made any changes until I see a picture like this. When I finally compare photos from a month or a year ago, when I see pictures compared to each other, my mind is shattered. I'm like, wow, I actually have made some difference and I have made changes. It's really hard to see changes in ourselves and it takes a long time because we're in our bodies every single day and these changes are so small. I have an example from January till about the end of the year. This is back in 2018, last year. I didn't know I had made any changes or that I was progressing the way that I wanted to until I looked back and I realized, wow, like I actually do have some definition in my arms or I actually am starting to be able to see some abs. And all of that comes from just comparing your photos to yourself and seeing that you actually are seeing results because it's hard to see results and it's hard to be patient and it's hard to want to wait to look that way. A lot of people just want those quick fast diets and they'll drink them teas that make them like poop for days. Like girlfriend, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. But it's just important to be patient with yourself throughout the process and to love yourself throughout the process because it is a journey. That's exactly why it's called a fitness journey. There's no one end destination. You're just kind of always, always, always working towards something. Another way that you can track progress other than progress photos is by a scale. Now, I low key hate scales, okay? I maybe weigh myself every, I don't know, three months, six months, once a month. I don't know, whenever I feel like it, but I never really feel like weighing myself because I don't like scales. But I do have a scale, and it's a dope scale. Like if you're gonna get a scale, get this scale. Maybe I should show you. Let me get it for you real quick. Okay, I have my nifty dipty scale. Nifty dipty, I'm such a stupid person. But I do wanna say, if you're somebody who obsesses over the number on the scale, no scales 2019, sayonara, snitch, sayonara. But this is the freaking scale I use. It's the Vanity Planet, it's like digital body analyzer scale. But this scale like measures more than just your weight. It measures your body fat percentage, your muscle mass, your bone density, and your water weight. So it's not just like a number, it actually shows you what your body's breaking down into. So if you're somebody who actually likes to measure that and see that progression through those numbers specifically, I can recommend this scale. Ugh. This is just a short intermission because I've got some koala slippers that are really cool. And these are also the best Gymshark joggers ever. Can I just talk like this for the rest of the video? Look, item number six is to just go for it. Girlfriend, go for it. How many times do I have to say girlfriend before you know to go for it? You know what, if you're a guy, boyfriend, go for it. Well, I'm married, but I mean, go for it, boy. Do it, do you. Everybody out there in this world, go for it. Go for it. Like, honestly, I just don't even know why you wouldn't even try or go for it. I know there's this thing called fear, but I promise, as you just kind of go for it and every day you're kind of making small actions towards your goal, you are gonna be successful and as you start seeing yourself being a little bit successful and having small wins day to day, that's gonna help motivate you and drive you to keep going. Now, with that being said, there's bad days, they're inevitable. Take your bad day, have a better day the next one. I always say every single day is a new and fresh start. I believe in that so firmly. No matter how bad your day was before, the new day, you can decide to turn it around, have a better attitude. If you're somebody who struggles with anxiety like me, something that has helped me go for it every single day or get to the gym or do things that are extremely intimidating to me is to take baby steps. Honestly, like even filming this YouTube video, I was like, I don't wanna do it. Like I'm way too scared to do this. Do you wanna know what I did? I set up my little camera on this little tripod in front of me and I'm like, okay, step one, done. Number two, get dressed, because I was in pajamas and the pajamas can't be seen. You know, they're those pajamas, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, step two, get dressed. So I got dressed. And by then I was like, let's go, I can do this. Like, I can film a YouTube video, I can do it. When I'm having anxiety for the gym, one, I normally start by picking on my gym outfit. I'll pick it out and I'll put it on. By then I'm starting to get in the zone of, okay, it's okay to go to the gym because anxiety is a weird thing, right? Anxiety just like makes you scared of weird things and you're like, why am I anxious? I, why am I anxious to go to the gym? I go to the gym every day. Why am I freaking out about it? I've been going to the gym for years. I still get nervous about, about going to the gym. I don't know what it is about it, but if I put my 
active wear on and I've got my outfit and I'm feeling good, I'm like, okay, I can do this. Or I will play like my gym playlist, I'll start playing my song and I'll start getting pumped and I'll be like, okay, I can do this, I can do this. Or I will toast my Eggo waffles and be like, Brittany, you are making your Eggo waffles, you have got to go to the gym now. So I'm like ready to go. There are little things that you can do that'll help get you in the mindset before you're doing these things that might make you anxious, like going to the gym. Like I've been going to the gym forever and I still get anxious. Like this is real talk, girl. Like I'm not over here lying to you. <sighs> Anxiety is a weird thing, isn't it? All right, you guys, so that's the end of the video. I really hope you found some of those tips helpful or had some good insights or that you just enjoyed the video. Maybe you hated the video. I don't really know. I want your fitness journey to be like as welcoming as it possibly can be. I want you to be like, I, I can do that. Like seriously, I just have so much love for everybody and I have so much love and passion like for living a healthy lifestyle. I just want everybody to reap the benefits of it. It has changed my life completely. I'm so much more of a happier person. If you want more information, more workouts, tips, more of me, you can follow me on Instagram. I've got everything over there. But if you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up so I know you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you never miss another video. If you have any questions or anything, leave them in the comments down below. And with that being said, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.